Hello, my name is Fox and you're watching Den of Fools. Let's jump right in. In week 35 of 2023, we had 80 tournaments with a total of 2,070 players and 9,077 games played. We do see significantly less tournaments than last week, although there are far more players and games. GW announced on their Twitter page that the balance data slate will be coming this Thursday, the 7th of September. I will talk more about my predictions when we look at the win rates. The Eldaria obviously at the top, with 20 wins and 43 top 3 placings. They have the best weighted place with 10.2, which is significantly worse than the 4.4 they got last week. They did of course get more larger tournament wins than any other faction, but not quite to the same extent as last week. The Space Marines were in 2nd with 11 wins and 34 top 3 placings. They have a weighted place of 31.4, the highest in the blue group. The Necrons are close behind with 10 wins and 18 top 3 places. They have a weighted place of 15.2, which is the second best overall, not counting the Inari as they only have very few players. They did get 5 larger tournament wins, showing they had a good week in terms of winning tournaments. There are only 3 factors in blue, with the Custodes topping the green group with 6 wins and a weighted place of 27.8. They are followed by the Thousand Sons and Tyranids, who both get 5 wins, being ranked by their number of top 3 placings. The Thousand Sons have a marginally better weighted place with 19.8, compared to the Tyranids 21.4. As the Tyranids have their new codex coming and the Thousand Sons are below a 55% win rate, I would imagine both these factions will have no changes in the next balance update. Chaos Space Marines get 4 wins and a weighted place of 31.8, which is much higher than the 12.6 they got last week. It'll be interesting to see if they can recapture their previous form after the next balance change. Guard and Orcs are the last factions in green, both getting 4 wins and 10 top 3 placings. They have a weighted place of 20 and 22 respectively. The Orcs have been performing reasonably well at winning tournaments, but the Guard have had a particularly good week with the third best weighted placing. Somewhat surprisingly, Imperial Knights top the yellow group with two wins and a massive weighted place of 62.5. One reason these weighted places are higher than usual could be due to the fact that we have seen less tournaments, but they have far more players in them, and only one faction can get the win. I would imagine this was also an issue for the Genesee of the Cults, who only got two wins and have a high weighted place of 34.5. 25 factions managed at least one top 10 placing, with the Space Marines getting the most top 10s of the 124. The Eldaria are in second with 90 top 10 placings, followed by Custodes in third with 70 top 10 placings. Unsurprisingly, the Space Marines are the most played faction with 16.67% of all players taking them. Aldaria back as the second most popular faction, 9.86%, followed by Custodes in third on 8.07%. Predictably, the three most popular factions get the most top 10 placings in the same order as their popularity. It takes our resident stats guru and Ultramarine fanboy, Fearless Fox, many hours to collect all the data. It would be great if you could show your appreciation by liking and sharing the video. It really helps us with the god algorithm of YouTube. We have grouped the win rates by colour, with the key at the bottom of the screen. We see one faction at the top of the rankings with very few players, so this week, the second most popular faction, Eldari, topped the win rates with 62.3%. You don't need foresight to know that the Eldari will get a big nerf in the balance update, which is only a few days away. The question is how far will GW go with the points increases and possible rules changes? I would not be surprised if the entire index got a points increase of 15-25%, to with some problem units getting an even bigger increase. I do think that GW will leave their rules largely the same, going with a big points increase as the main way to nerf Aldari. They could make a significant impact by simply changing a few of their rules, such as reducing the rerolls given by their detachment. In any event, I really hope they don't go too lightly, like they did with their emergency balance change. There is no other faction in blue with a decent number of players, with the Thousand Suns topping the green group with a win rate of 54%. They are the best of the rest this week, and they are still below a 55% win rate. With all the other strong factions being in the Goldilocks zone this week, I will make the rest of my predictions when we look at the win rates for 10th so far. The Genesee of the Cults get a win rate of 53.8%, which is slightly better than the 52.3% they got last week. The third most popular faction, Custodies, are just behind with 53.4% followed by Necrons, on a win rate of 53.1%. The Imperial Knights are the last faction in green with a win rate of 52.2%. The most popular faction, the Space Marines, get a win rate of 43.1%. Of course, the second most popular faction, Eldari, topped the Leviathan to date win rates with an impressive 65.5%. Unless GW do something truly drastic, they will still be reasonably strong after their changes, in my opinion. The Gene Seelicals have dropped out of the blue group after a few poor weeks. They are now on a win rate of 59.8%. Another faction which is certain to get some nerfs. I would be amazed if the Acolytes and Neophytes don't get a significant points increase, as they make up the majority of competitive Genes of the Cult's lists. I expect a few of their characters will also get a points increase, such as the Primus and Nexus. The Imperial Knights come next with a win rate of 55.5%. They are just above the Goldilocks zone, therefore they will be getting a points increase of some kind. I am confident the Armagers will get an increase, 
as he escaped any changes in the emergency balance update. This could be combined with some further increases for the big knights. The custodians have actually dropped back into the Goldilocks zone. They are on a win rate of 54.9%. They are only just in the zone and have been hovering around a 55% win rate for a good while. I expect them to get some points increases, as if the factions above them get heavily nerfed, they are likely to be the new strongest faction without any changes. Possibly the real winner of the next balance update will be the Thousand Suns. They are performing well with a win rate of 53.1% and have been in the upper end of the Goldilocks zone for most of 10th. They may be victim to a just-in-case nerf, as it will likely increase their win rate significantly if the factions above all get a points increase. Chaos Demons get a win rate of 49.4%, followed by Necrons on a win rate of 49.3%. Both of these factions should remain unchanged, which is quite good for the Necrons, as they do have some competitive builds which do well at tournaments. The Tyranids run a win rate of 49.3%, and we expect them to get no changes, as their codex is just about to be released. Having said that, I did look through the replies on the Twitter post which announced when the balance change would be, and noticed that they did reply to some questions. Someone asked if the Tyranids will get any points changes, and GW's official account confirmed that they will be doing. Whether it's just points changes to reflect the codex, or pre-general release points adjustments was not confirmed. After the first hour or so, GW's Twitter account be became very coy, telling people that they will have to wait and see what the changes will be. Chaos Space Marines and Orcs get a win rate of 48.6% and 47% respectively. I would imagine both these factions alongside Chaos Knights will all see no changes, even if they are towards the lower end of the Goldilocks zone. The most popular faction, the Space Marines, are the first outside of the zone with a win rate of 43.2%. As their codex is soon to be released, I would be very surprised if they see any major changes. We will have a look at the individual chapters later on in the video. There are a further 9 factions below Space Marines. I expect all these factions will get a buff. When reading the Twitter replies, the account did reply to two more people, stating that Admech and Grey Knights will both be getting a buff. This is completely to be expected, but it was nice to see the GW Twitter confirm these two would be getting some changes. As the other factions have a very similar win rate or worse, then I think it confirms that they will all be getting a buff. In particular, the Death Guard, Tau and Votan, surely must be getting some sizable points decreases. I would not be surprised if the Votan see the opposite of Aldari, with their entire index being reduced in cost by 15-25%. to Viewers have commented on our previous video suggesting that the Votan need more than a points decrease, with the rules rewrite being the much preferred option. I have seen some posts online that also suggest the reason they are doing so poorly is the nerf to their ballistic skill from 9th edition. I am unsure if GW would go as far as improving the ballistic skill for every unit, but it would certainly have a significant impact on their win rate. This week, the free Executioner's players topped the win rates with 66.7%. As there were so few, the third most popular chapter of the Death Watch topped the win rates with 50.5%. They are consistently the best performing chapter, yet they are still only around the 50% mark. If the Space Marines are going to get any points changes, they should be buffs rather than nerfs. The Buzz Angels topped the Yellow Group with a win rate of 46.6%, an unexpectedly good week for them. They are followed by the most popular chapter, the Dark Angels, who get a win rate of 46.2%. The Black Templars are the last faction in the Goldilocks zone, with a win rate of 45.7%. The Space Wolves get a win rate of 41.5%, with the second most popular chapter, the Ultramarines, getting a win rate of 40.8%. We do see a large number of chapters in the Red Group, with 9 in total. These are all Space Marine Index chapters, minus the Flesh Terrors, who are a Blood Angel successor. I do think the Space Marine Index may well be left alone, as the Space Marine Codex is coming very soon. If there are any changes, I can't see it being more than perhaps some of the unique characters for the individual chapters getting a buff. The Death Watch remain at the top of the Leviathan to date win rates with 52%. The Salamanders are next with a win rate of 46.2%, followed by the Iron Hands on a win rate of 46%. As stated, I would be very surprised if there are sweeping changes of the Space Marine Index. The most popular chapter of the Dark Angels are just outside the Goldilocks zone, with a win rate of 44.5%. They are very close to the zone and GW have them on a 45% win rate. They will be the first of the Divergent chapters to get their own codex, so I am predicting they will not get any changes on Thursday. The Black Templars are the next of the Divergent chapters, with a win rate of 43.1%. We did take a look at a Black Templars list in our recent Space Marines Faction Spotlight, and it didn't take any of the unique units. It did use their detachment, but I personally think we will see some points decreases for some units, such as Sword Brethren or Crusaders. The Space Wolves are currently struggling with a win rate of 42.1%, GW did have them much higher in their last Meta Watch article, but I would be surprised if they don't get a buff, or at least their unique detachment rule being made easier to achieve. Finally, we have my Blood Angels, who are at the bottom with a win rate of 40.1%. I am certain they will get a buff, as many of their unique units and characters are overcosted in my opinion. Some units are competitive, such as Lomates leading a big squad of Death Company, with all the fancy melee weapons. 
The list where this was featured did take majority index base brain units, and the list didn't look particularly thematic for Blood Angels. I think the Sanguinary Guard are certain to get to points decrease. Hopefully some of the named characters such as Dante will also be buffed. This week the majority of Chaos Space Marine Warbands are unknown, so we'll go straight into Leviathan so far. The Emperor's Children players top the win rate as the Fallen have not played in a good number of weeks. They have a win rate of 55.1%. The Iron Warriors just get in green with a win rate of 50%. The most popular, the Black Legion, get a win rate of 49.6%, followed by the Red Corsairs who are on 48.7%. The Alpha Legion are on a win rate of 48.4%, followed by the word bearers on a win rate of 44.4%. The Night Lords are at the bottom, with a win rate of 41.2%. If you enjoyed our content, please subscribe, check out one of the videos on screen, and consider using our affiliate links in the description. Thank you for watching.